Honestly, for the first time in my f***ing cooking career, yeah, I'm in a kitchen with Muppets. Thank you, sir. Gordon Ramsay is the most famous chef in the world, and with that comes a lot of benefits, even if owning restaurants is a notoriously fickle and difficult enterprise. Fine dining! No chef. A fine f***ing mess! Beyond that, he's got a ton of different television shows, merchandise related to those shows, and also his own line of cookbooks and regular books. So it's safe to say that Gordon Ramsay is a multimedia superstar, and that's afforded him a life of luxury. So let's take a look at some of the most extravagant things that he's reportedly purchased. Why don't you drive through to that subscribe button and order up that notification bell so that you never miss a video from Babbletop. All right, let's move on. His Cornwall Holiday Home. I will clear all that furniture, okay, and I'll put it back in my van, and this here I'll put back in there. Ramsey takes few things as seriously as cooking. The things he does focus his time or money on are cars, expanding his restaurant empire, a couple of watches, and buying homes for his large family. You out of your head, you'll crack your skull open. This home managed to rub some of his neighbors the wrong way, as he lived in one of his vacation homes while another nearby place was being demolished in Cornwall, England. The home he didn't demolish is impressive and makes you wonder why he needs two, but considering the fact that he's opening multiple new restaurants a year, you'll have to admit, perhaps he restrained himself a bit by only owning two homes in Cornwall. The older one cost an impressive four million dollars. For a price, everything for a, for price. a price. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. That's <laughs> made with passion and has six bedrooms, four bathrooms, three reception rooms, a swimming pool, private tennis court, and almost three acres of land for his four kids to frolic. The new place? Two kitchens, a swimming pool, a wine cellar, and four ensuite bathrooms in a home that's 100 yards from the beach. Presumably, he'll eventually sell one of them, but still, it's kind of fun to think of Ramsey being the only neighbor that Ramsey will allow. Drivers, start your engine! <laughs> La Ferrari. <laughs> Love you. This is La Ferrari Alberta. Done. While Ramsey owns a number of Ferraris, one of his flashiest is the La Ferrari. How does the La Ferrari differentiate itself? Well, to start with, it's super fast. With a top speed of nearly 220 miles per hour and capable of going from zero to 60 in under 2.5 seconds. Under the hood, the car features a 6.3 liter F140 FE V12 engine against a relatively light weight of under 3,500 pounds, meaning that you're basically at the wheel of a rocket ship, a beautiful, beautiful rocket ship. This is also Ramsey's most expensive car, as only 500 were ever produced. What's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. Ferrari. With a price range of up to $5 million. Despite that high initial investment, subsequent sales show that it's a good investment. As recently, a LaFerrari was sold for over $7 million at an auction, making it the most valuable 21st century automobile produced thus far. $50! Ferrari 458 Italia. Another great piece in Ramsey's car collection is the Ferrari 458 Italia. This whips 4.5 liter Ferrari F136 FV8 engine can reach a top speed of just over 200 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. What the f did you put in that sauce? You're basically spending about $1,000 for every mile per hour, though, as this car will run you $225,000 off the line. Beyond that muscle under the hood, though, the 458 Italia may be the best looking of all of Ramsey's Ferraris. It features compact and aerodynamic lines, with a front grille that has a single opening. Snazzy side air intakes and aerodynamic sections match with a profile designed to push as much air as possible to radiators while still making the car look about as amazing as a car can look. This, from a chef's point of view, is a very exciting journey. This is one of the more highly customizable Ferraris as well, which in Ramsey's case probably means that there's all sorts of broken plates inside and you stupid cow sewn into the leather and suede interior. Yeah, in right. Did it hurt? No, shit. Sue me. <laughs> Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Okay, yeah. Gordon Ramsay obviously likes Ferraris, but considering how simultaneously luxurious, beautiful, and sort of mean they look, it's not hard to see why they appeal to him. 
This one has a smaller engine than the others, with only a 4.3 liter V8 engine. That doesn't hurt its horsepower though, as it still rocks out over 530 horses. That engine nearly helps this Ferrari reach 200 miles per hour at its top speed, and does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. This is also a discount Ferrari when it comes to price, as it runs you about $217,000 brand new. Oh yeah, basically free. It's the most expensive vegetable on the market. You want that? <laughs> His home in Los Angeles. <laughs> Welcome to Ramseyville, also known as my house. While Ramsey has stated that the only thing he misses when he's not in Los Angeles is in and out Burger, you have to think that he also misses his LA home. I think Gordon's house might look like a mansion, like the White House. As he dropped a reported $7 million on his residence there. He's in good company, though, with neighbors including David and Victoria Beckham. Chefs don't spend that much time at home, so when we are at home, we want to relax, enjoy, and unwind. The five bedroom estate has four bathrooms, a swimming pool, and a gigantic garden should he want to go out and nab some fresh ingredients while cooking for his family. The kitchen is decked out with all the modern amenities that the world's most well known chef can use, although it's not as impressive as the kitchen in his London home, which was built onto the side of his house and required the help of a crane to move in some of the appliances. <laughs> Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. <laughs> Okay, last Ferrari, we promise. But can you blame us for highlighting so many of them? Like we said before, Ramsey's got a fleet of Ferraris, but the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta is particularly sweet. I think I left my ass on the corner. A supercharged auto that went for a cool $270,000 brand new, this ride goes from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, and has a top speed of 211 miles per hour with a wicked 545 horsepower output. All that power has to come from somewhere, and here it's its massive 6.3 liter V12 engine, a curb weight of just under 4,000 pounds, and a surprising 19 miles to the gallon fuel economy. Being a Ferrari, the Berlinetta has all the best tech as well, with bells and whistles like class-leading anti-theft systems that utilize satellites and GPS to track down your stolen car, an electronically adjustable steering wheel, and AM FM radio. What? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Okay, that last one isn't as impressive, but when you've got satellites monitoring your car from space, what else could you possibly need? <laughs> a super nice Rolex. Allow me to suggest a perfectly adequate watchmaker just down the street. Outside of homes, super nice cars, and expensive restaurants, really the only thing that seems to catch Ramsey's eye is a fancy watch now and again. Q has repaired your wristwatch. The most expensive watch in his arsenal is a vintage Rolex Submariner, which he's been spotted wearing at numerous events and on a few episodes of his television shows. With a price tag of at least $20,000, it's still not the most expensive timepiece out there. However, any collector knows just how collectible and valuable Submariners are, as they were the first waterproof watch ever released back in 1953 and are highly sought after by those collectors, which means that if he's ever in a pinch, he'll at least have a couple of things to pawn in between shifts at his Vegas restaurants. Either that, or some really great watches to stare at while he ponders his mistakes and rebuilds his empire. I am not serving food tonight with that shit in there. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay Steak Restaurant, Las Vegas. It's time to open the doors of Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. With each season of Hell's Kitchen, it appears that Ramsey has more new restaurants opening all the time. What's that spray? Hand coating so it doesn't stick. A can coating. Yes. Wow. The crown jewel in his restaurant kingdom, at least in terms of how expensive it was to purchase and renovate, was the space for Gordon Ramsay Steak Restaurant, which is set in the Paris Casino in Las Vegas. Ramsay doesn't pull any punches when it comes to naming his restaurants, so it's pretty obvious that this is a steak joint, but what isn't obvious is the menu beyond fillets. Fennel, spinach, broccoli. <laughs> We've got Michelin starred monkeys. <laughs> Beyond some great cuts of steak, there's caviar, fried Blue Point oyster, beef Wellington, which is Ramsay's go to order when he visits other people's restaurants, and even classic British Shepherd's pie to go along with the huge Union Jack flag found high on the ceiling of the restaurant. Cold congealed gravy. It's like glue. <laughs> His home in London. The turkeys are staying in their houses, so they can't see what's going on. Ainsley. Ready, steady, pluck. 
Gordon Ramsay is from Stratford-upon-Avon, but saved his most impressive home purchase for his London, England home. Purchased back in 2002, this home features a gate at the end of a gigantic garden which is large enough to grow whatever herbs or fresh vegetables he might want to add to his home-cooked meals. There are also amenities, like a tennis court and a private park, which Ramsay shares with 15 other homes in the area. The Straight into the shackle? Yep. We got it. I'm standing well back. There's 600 volts going through those birds. The home is small relative to some of his other estates with five bedrooms, one large bathroom, and a lounge. Ramsey being Ramsey, there are actually two kitchens in the home, one adjacent to a children's playroom in the basement that his wife mostly uses to cook for the kids, whereas the second nearly million-dollar kitchen was actually built as an extension to the home itself. That second kitchen has a nearly seven-figure Rorg cooker that weighs so much that it had to be lifted into the home by a crane. Why do we use electricity and not break the deck? Well, we find it a much more humane way of dealing with the job. Very quick and then. Uh... <laughs> Bentley Continental GT. <laughs> and it kind of hit me, why not the Ferrari of hotels? I'm more concerned what you're smoking at the time than what you're thinking. We promised we were done with Ferraris, but we didn't promise we were done with cars. And there is really no fancier car out there than the Bentley, namely the Bentley Continental GT, a 616 horsepower whip that does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds and has a top speed of 205 miles per hour. F word stands for fast. All that power is thanks to a 6-liter twin-turbocharged engine, and it's tempered by the Bentley Continental's intelligent braking system. Beyond the performance of the car, people purchase it for its luxury. When it comes to that, there's really no match to what the people at Bentley are working with. So obviously the Continental GT is rocking fully leather-coated seats, a large heads-up display, and wood paneling on the dash. There's also all sorts of next-level technology in Ramsey's car of choice here, such as built-in satellite navigation, parking assistance, internal Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and more. Of all of Ramsey's cars, this seems like the car he drives to work day in and day out, as it's the most comfortable, tech-savvy, and practical, which considering its list price of $180,000 sounds absurd, but still, he can clearly afford it. What would your ostentatious purchase be? Sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more great content and a chance to win an iPhone X. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.